Hi, I'm Charlie Haynes with Bird Jam, here to introduce our new Heads Up Warblers app for the iPod Touch and iPhone. The Heads Up name derives from something we all know. Most of the time, if you can see the head of a bird, you can identify it. This may be as true with the wood warblers of North America as any other group of birds. Now, about Heads Up Warblers. There are three elements to be considered in the Heads Up identification process. What a bird looks like what a bird sounds like, and whether or not you should encounter it based on range and season. Let's start with a sighting to see how Heads Up Warblers works. The initial index at 57 warbler species is a photo gallery of warblers' heads presented in a quickly resizable grid, three, four, or five species across, scrollable up and down, arranged by color similarity. When you tap an image in the index, the photo is outlined in green, signifying that this warbler will be included in your comparison. Choose all the probable candidates in this manner. After your choices are complete, tap the Compare button, lower right in the menu, and the screen will change to reflect only those choices. You'll notice a small play icon now appears upper left in all the photos. This icon, when tapped, will cause a single song example to play through your iPod. By the way, the bird sounds used throughout Heads Up Warblers are supplied from the extensive sound collection of the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, and these single examples are the songs they consider the most common for each species. You can tap the range icon and see each image rotate to reveal a range map for the species being compared. Often a bird can be eliminated from consideration immediately using this feature. And after looking over your gallery of selections, you realize a particular species should no longer be included for any reason. Tap its photo, tap compare again, and you'll get a new index without that bird displayed. Double tap any photo now and the entire screen will be devoted to that warbler alone. Although, at this point, you can swipe the image right to left and see the other finalist in full photo mode as well. The screen will show a photo of the entire bird and the associated species range map will fill the screen when the range icon is tapped. You can bring to view a group of sound files for your chosen warbler by tapping the progress play length icon lower right in the menu bar. By the way, the lower menu contains standard sound controls, play, pause, repeat, don't repeat, and remember that as the songs are played, the range icon can be tapped to show the range map of the warbler under scrutiny without interrupting playback. If you tap the play icon first, the range of songs will be displayed and the songs will begin to play, left to right, showing the state or province in which the recording was made as they play. This process can be interrupted at any time by tapping a specific track. The song group may include flight calls and almost always includes chip notes. Each individual track is selectable and repeatable, with the location and month of the year the recording was made displayed prominently. In the field, 80% of the time, we hear birds we never see. To address this issue, we provide a song type index as a starting point alternative. This index is a grid with a list of song types. A pine warbler, for instance, creates a trill song and is one of the warblers which will appear in the gallery after the trill button is tapped in the song type index. Once you've identified the sound type, the selection process continues with more emphasis on the songs and a final candidate is chosen by the way it sounds. The lower menu in some instances carries an icon for information, which when tapped brings up a shortened view of the common name of the warbler lower left in the photo. And an icon labeled notes is available on some screens, which when tapped adds brief species specific notes to the screen. In the whole bird view, the common name and scientific name of the bird are located directly above the lower menu. If you tap the clear icon, well, that clears the slate of choices you've made so you can begin the process anew. We had a lot of fun creating Heads Up Warblers, learned a lot too. There's always more to learn about birds. Look for other Heads Up apps based on family groups coming soon. Happy birding!